What up, sports fans? My name's Hip Hopper. You're watching Hop is Hip Tips. And uh, this is a special Friday release date edition, you know what I'm saying? Because we got New Bloods to review, baby. That's right, New Bloods. And I swear, I swear today is not New Bloods Day, but it is. Like, I was not expecting this today. I'm like, oh, New Bloods are next week or whatever. No, they're today, bruh. They're today. And so uh, I'm a little off guard here. Gonna wing it, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. All right, so meet the new bloods, baby. Let's do it, shall we? What do we got here? Let's see. Temperatures are getting cooler, don't you think? An air specialist shows up among our Kamboka members and it appears she is already getting along with our roots. Okay. Two yetis team up with her, a grumpy frozen and a former trapper now become ghost town. A ghost town frozen. Okay, whatever. An <laughs> all-stars recruit joins the party to contrast with this cool setting. Hot stuff Luis walks the slack line in extreme poses. And happy gaming to everyone. So, we got Hatis, Cravey, Halu... Haluaka, Haluaka, and Luis Bonafa, Bonaface. Is that Boniface? Luis Boniface, I guess. Whatever. Anyway, I think it's funny that like certain cards get last names and other cards don't. It's like, what? What's up with that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so as always, to understand our new bloods fully. We go, uh, I go, I go and check out uh, White Dragon 11's amazing release day presets. So thank you so much to White Dragon 11 um, for doing this every week. Uh, I don't know how he does it. He must be made of money or something. But anyway, uh, what do we got here? Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So first off, looks like we have an all-stars. It's Luis Boniface, and uh, what is he? He is a four-star, 6'6", uh, six, six, with courage, plus four life. So that's pretty sweet. Um, he can make a ten life gap, which is ridiculous. And he's, and he's, um, he's the, he's the uncommon, uh, an uncommon, by the way. Um. So he's a so he's a six six with courage uh, plus four life, which you know all stars are a life gain clan, so they have a lot of life gain cards, and that and this is uh, this is a nice addition to the team, I think. Uh, like I said, a ten life gap, you know, you're looking at a ten life gap. That's pretty brutal, but um, he's only a six power. Now he's a virtual eight power, obviously, which you know that can get the job done. But, uh, you know, you're going to have trouble against nine power cards. You're going to have trouble if this guy loses his bonus. Uh, he's pretty useless at six power. Um, and, of course, um, you know, SOA can hurt a little bit. But, um, you know, he still hits for six. It's not bad for a four star. So, it's good. Um, decent card. I like him. And... Uh, Let's see. I don't know though. He's got. I mean, he's got a lot of competition there, right? You got. Um, you got striker CR. You got. Uh, who else? What are some other good four stars that they've got? Hi, I'm back. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know. Anyway, he's gonna have a little competition at the four star spot, but he's but he's good. I mean. Uh, you, there aren't many cards that can make a 10 life gap, right? It's been, in, in all stars especially, so that's awesome. So, next up, here we go. We got, um, we got Halu, Hula, Hula Huka. Uh, Hula Huka is a, um, a ghost star. Is he a ghost star, ghost town yeti? No, he's a frozen. Okay, so he's a frozen that was 
a ghost town or something. I don't know. He's the rare here. And uh, so, of course, rares are awesome. And he's a 5-star, 7-7, seven, seven, with equalizer, minus 3 opponent attack, min 9. So, let's check out Halu Hula, Hula Hookah. Uh, a solitary yeti, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what's the... Okay, I guess he's a yeti. There he is. Alright, so he's a 7-7, seven, seven. Uh, that's, you know, those are good solid stats for a 5. Um, of course, with, um, with his bonus, he can become a 9-9, nine, nine, which is ridic. And uh, not only that, but he has attack manipulation. So that's cray, bro, that's friggin' cray. Um, so, basically... Um, I mean, obviously, this guy's going to be amazing in, like, T3 and, uh, you know, and, and somewhat in T2 as well because, you know, if he's facing a 5-star, that's, what, minus 15 attack, min 9? That's ridiculous. And if this guy goes first with his, you know, with his bonus go going, uh, with his revenge, uh, with his revenge activated, then he's going to be a 9 power. And so if he goes first... Um, he's gonna, he can just like no kill and win draws, you know what I mean, with, with other five stars. So that's pretty nice. Um, in, uh, you know, in EFC, obviously, you know, he's not gonna match up with, um, with a five star all the time. So he's gonna, he's gonna struggle a little bit there. But I mean, well, I shouldn't say struggle. Uh, you know, he's, he's, a, he can be a nine nine and, the, uh, the attack manipulation is just kind of icing on the cake, you know what I mean? But, like I said, in a T3 environment, he can be really nice, because at 9 power, um, that puts him at his min for his attack manipulation. So you can just toss him out there if all they have are 5 stars on the other side. Just toss him out there, and they have to pill over him or lose the draw, you know what I mean? So that's nice. Alright, good card. He's going for 180 grand, it looks like. Um, next up, what do we got? We've got Ghost Town, baby. So this is Kraby, okay? Kraby is some type of highwayman dude here. Um, he's he's an uncommon, and he's going for 270 grand. So um, he's going for even more than the rare is. That's weird. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes, like... One of the uncommons is will have like a ridiculous drop rate for some reason. Um, I don't know what the point of that is. I don't know if it's just a glitch or if they do it on purpose. If they're doing it on purpose, it's kind of dumb. It's like, why do that on an uncommon card? Like if it's uncommon, by definition, it should be more, uh, more available than a rare, right? So... Um, it just, it doesn't really make sense when they do that, but whatever. Apparently, Cravey is uh, hard to get your hands on. So, uh, he's a Ghost Town, 4-star, 8-5, nice stats, with Revenge Copy Bonus. Very nice. So, let's see here. So, he's from Mount Glatz. He's a Trapper. Cravey is a Trapper Yeti who, when he laid his hands on an ancient treasure, met his death in an old mine on Mount Glatz. He literally did find death, since he succeeded in negotiating a comeback amid the ghosts by giving the priceless treasure away to the greedy Judge Lynch. All right, so there's Cravey in his, uh, his pre-death form. So, um, so he's a four-star, eight-five. Those are solid stats. Um, especially for a ghost town. So during the day, he's gonna be um, he's gonna be a nine six, which is nine. Well, that, those are nice stats for a four star for sure. And of course at night, he's still a virtual nine power, but um, he does five damage and can and can dr by one, right? So nice card, and uh, of course. His revenge copy bonus is just kind of the icing on the cake. 
Um, he doesn't really need it, you know, so if he gets SOA'd, that's no big deal. Um, I think, you know, and, and even if he loses his bonus, that's not like the end of the world, right? He's still going to be, um, he's still going to be in, uh, an 8-5, right? Those are, so, those are still solid stats. And, uh, you know, even an 8-5 with, you know, if he gets his revenge in, copy bonus, that's pretty sweet. So he's a dang nice card for Ghost Town. I like it. And last, but certainly not least, but in this case, least, is our Kamboka card, Hatis. So, Hatis is, um, she's a three star, seven four, with support, dope, one, max, four. What? Let's try to wrap our, ha our heads around that, shall we? So, um, where are you, Hatice? There she is. Doing the, uh, doing the Batman crouch, or the Spider-Man crouch, however you want to look at it. Um, so she's 7-4, uh, which, you know, that's solid stats for a three-star. Pretty, pretty basic stats. Um, but she has, she's the first Kamboka support card, so that's nice. And she is um, support dope one min four, or ma is it max four? Anyway, um, dope, I guess, would be if you're dope and you're getting pills. Oh, so it's, is it max four? Okay, hold on a second. What the balls? Okay, yeah, it's max four. That makes sense. So, um, so basically, you get four, you know, if she, if she has full support, she you get back four pills per turn, but it's max four. So she's like Farah, right? Who's, who's, who just said that? Carefree millionaire. Um, so basically, yeah, it's kind of, so that's kind of a weird card. I've never... Uh, I've never used Farah a whole lot, so, um, but she, you know, I've seen her be effective, but basically, um, I would say you want to throw this card maybe, uh, round two or three, and just, um, and hope for, um, getting those four pills back, um, on round, on round four, round three to round four, so, um, so with a card like this, you kind of want to you kind of want to throw your pills early. So like do a massive nuke on round one, and then follow up with this card, you know. Or you could even throw this card on round one, and then use all your all your pills on your next card on round two, and then start getting you getting four pills back per turn. But um, but with the Kamboka bonus, you're getting extra pill back every turn as well. So, you know, every turn you win, anyway. So, you know, you could get, this could get you four pills back, and then plus one, up to five, uh, for the, for the next round. So that's kind of nice. Um, again, I, I've never played with Farah a whole lot, so I don't, um, I don't really know the tactics for this card. But that's, that's my best guess, is how, um, on how you would use this card. So she's pretty decent, um, but I don't know that I'd use her. Um, they already, I mean, they already have some good, good uh, three stars. Kamboka does. Um, you've got, um, you know, you've got Yagen, who's great, nice opener. Um, you've got uh, Hilal, my personal fave. That's uh, she's just a good all around card. And then even, you know, even, you've even got Rizom, who has the same stats as this card, but has the, um, you know, cancel, or is it protect, no, protection power and damage. He's, he can be pretty nice in certain situations too. So we'll see if she makes it into the rotation. Um, she's not my fave, but, and again, I don't, I don't use this tactic. I'm not really familiar with this tactic. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what she does. But anyway, those, my friends, are your new bloods today. 
And let's check out uh, let's check out the missions now, because there should be four new missions here, or three new missions maybe. So here we go. So these are the, this week's legend missions here, and now we have Bigfoot inflict three hundred damage with the frozen. Uh, that's not that's not too big a deal. Um, I mean, 300 damage is a lot, but, you know, you can do it. Especially with their big cards like Mallory and John O'Clock and, um, you know, cards like that. They deal a lot of damage, so if you just go into, you can just go do that in normal mode or T3 or whatever. Get that done pretty, fairly easily. Um, finally, an Oscar wins 60 rounds with the Ghost Town. So Ghost Town have... So there are two Ghost Town missions. That's kind of interesting. Um, so winning 60 rounds, that that's winning rounds isn't too difficult. But and of course, if you're working on the 300 damage mission anyway, uh, you know 60 rounds will go pretty quick. And then uh, lastly, or nextly, <laughs> nextly we have pourquoi, why, for what, gain 100 life points with an all stars. Um, so there are, there are a lot of fairly decent all-star life gainers. Um, a lot of them have been banned from EFC. So in EFC you've got, what, Dorothy, uh, Jesse, and, um, I don't know, a, a few, oh, you got, um, what's his name? The three-star guy, um, Mulligan, he's good. Um, if you're trying for, there, you know, there's also, um, the, um, uh, Kenshiro, what's his name? Anyway, uh, he's kill shot though. He's kill shot plus four life. So there, there are some, de there, you know, there are some decent life gainers for all stars right now, but, um, gaining a hundred life points is going to take you a while. Um, it's taken me about a week to do, um, to do the Berserk's life drain mission up here. Where is it? Oh, it's one, it's there, um, yeah, there it is, Berserk Op. It's taken me about a week to get here to 64 out of 100, um, life drain with them, you know, just draining like two or three life at a time. So that's, it's going to take you a while to, uh, to finish this All-Stars mission. Um, and so keep that in mind. Um. And the first airbender, question mark, win 40 fights using at least two Kamboka. So, um, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, They're not, there aren't two ghost town missions, never mind. Bigfoot, yeah, I'm, I'm confused with all this Yeti crossover or stuff. Anyway, um, so Bigfoot is, the, is a frozen mission, so dealing 300 damage with the frozen. So, um, you know, Frozen has a lot of decent damagers, especially if they have their bonus activated. So, um, that'll take you a little while, 300 damage, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now, finally, an Oscar is the Ghost Town mission, and you're winning 60 rounds with the Ghost Town. And again, um, that shouldn't be too difficult. Round winning uh, should be pretty, pretty easy for the Ghost Town. They're, they've got some pretty powerful cards. So, um, that's, that's, that's the ghost town mission. Then we got the all stars mission, which is gain hundred life, which is, which I told you will, will take a while. It's taken me about a week to deal, um, to get that kind of, to get up to that level with berserks. And lastly, we have the first airbender question mark, uh, win 40 fights using at least two Kamboka. So, um, so if you haven't finished your um, if you haven't finished your Kamboka Op mission this week, where are they? Kamboka Op. Oh, that's win fifty pills with one character as a Kamboka clan. But you know you can do that um, in conjunction with the one down here. Um, so in fact, I'll probably be using Frozen Ghost Town All Stars and Kamboka this week. Um, may as well, right? So anyway, 
those are your legend missions, and I hope that helps a little bit. Um, now, we're going to go to the shop, baby, now, because um, there is a, a deal going on here. See the little percentage? That's a deal, baby. Um, so the deal is uh, six packs of new blood equals three free packs. That's insane. I like it. I'm getting it. Um, they, they, they had a, they had a new blood promo last week too, which is crazy. So they're just kind of going crazy on new bloods. And usually when they have offers like this, they're trying to get people to spend all their creds because something big's coming. Just, just heads up. Okay. Just so you know. Um, but I'm cool with that. I'm going to get six packs. Give me six packs, baby. Yeah, yeah. 168 creds. We're doing it. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Just pulled the trigger. What up? So, we're going to flip these one at a time. And come on, come on, Kaiserin. Come on, Kupanda. That's, this is what, that's what I'm looking for here, okay? So we got Riz on. Yeah. We got Anthony, new. Okay, so we didn't have Anthony before. That's cool. He's a good, he's a, he's a nice card for riots. I like him quite a bit. Um, support. With full support, he has plus 16 attack. Nice. 7-4 um, stats. We got Bara, the beautiful, pregnant, delicious Bara. And um, we got, oh, we got Hatis. We got one of the new bloods, so that's nice. Um, she's going for, it looks like, 26 grand right now. Holy crap. She was 10 grand earlier when I was looking at her. So um, maybe her price has gone up. All right. Next up, we got, uh, we got Hillal. She's, she's awesome. Like I said, she's probably one of my, she's probably my favorite three-star Comboka right now. Very nice card. Going for 15 grand. We got Pavam. Decent. Uh, Drayton, oh my gosh, she sucks, but, um, and I, and I, I always think she's a rare because of that border, but she's actually uh, a common card. Uh, if you look up there, she's got that little uh, bronze bar there. That's what she is. She's a common card, but her border makes it look like she's a rare or something. So anyway, we got Sue. Nice. We've, we've already got Sue. We've got a couple copies of Sue, so. Um, but he's a very nice uh, ghost town card. C pretty essential for T3. Uh, we got Crash, meh. Uh, we got El Magnifico, nice. But we already have it. And uh, she's only going for 16.5, so yeah. Not a great rare there. We got Seta, nice. We got Kubra. What else have we got in here? Come down. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, baby, Kaiserin. Thank you. Needed that. Needed that big time. Sweet. Kaiserin is um, a very nice card for Pussycats right now, especially since she's not banned in EFC mode. So, um, so very nice card. Finally got her. Exolande. Next up, we got Triton. We got Kubra. We got... Oh, another Hatis, very nice. So another new blood card. We can make a little money there, you know what I'm saying? Selling those bad boys, or bad girl, as the case may be. Um, come on, uh, cooperate with me, phone, fetch. Okay, so there's Pavum, oh my gosh. Why is it doing this? There we go, that's better. Oh, we got Sita. Nah. We got another Hillal. So uh, our rares are kind of getting sucked it, sucked up by. Oh, baby, Kupanda. There we go. We got our Kupanda. We got our Kaiserin. I'm happy. Exolande. So that's awesome. Um, see, we got another copy of Mads here. We got another copy of VXN, and I've been itching to you play her. I, I drew her in a pack last week, so I've been, I've been really wanting to play her. Um, I don't know if I'll get to her this week, though, because I've got all these 
new blood missions we gotta finish, so we'll see. Um, Crash. Oh, there's Batool. Okay, good old Batool. The uh, kind of a staple five star right now for Comboca since their other five stars are banned pretty much. Uh, we got Drayton again. We got Seta. We got Sue. Another Sue. Exolande. We got Drayton again. Uh, Ant another Anthony, which we just got today. Utam. Drayton. Okay. How many more of these do we have? Holy crap. We got Rizom. Uh, there's another Batool. Holy crap. Utam. Sita. I don't think we're going to get anything else really interesting here. Should we just flip them all? Oh, Reyno. Okay, there's a, new, there's a new card. He was released last New Bloods. Um, and I did not I did not pick him up, so now we've got him. That's nice. Uh, we got Sita, Mads, another Batool? Holy crap. We're getting dick tons of Batool here. All right. So our last five cards. You ready? Triton. Kubra. Reyna. Another Reyna. Oh, yeah, another Kaiserin, Exolande. That's right, Exolande. Oh, my gosh, I love it. And another VXN. Awesome. So, there we go, guys. Those, that's New Blood Friday, baby. Uh, all wrapped up in a nice little package with a bow on top. So, thanks for joining me today. My name, as you know, is Hip Hoppa. And please tune in every day for Hoppus Hip Tips, baby. I'll have a little bit of hot, steamy EFC action a little later for you, if you're into that. And um, so stay tuned, and I will see you in a few. Bye, guys.